Welcome to the Saturday Update. I'm Nicole Gunn. Perth has emerged from its lockdown with a stay-at-home order rescinded despite one new case of community transmission. In Brisbane, an extended lockdown will expire at 6 o'clock tonight but will depend on today's COVID figures. Stay-at-home orders were extended yesterday after two cases were reported in Brisbane and another on the Sunshine Coast. Meanwhile, Sydney will tonight reach the halfway point of its lockdown but there's no set date on when it will be lifted. The federal government has agreed to endorse a plan to overhaul the NAPLAN school testing system. Under the proposal, tests would be held earlier in the year and student results delivered in two weeks. The last US and NATO forces have packed up and left Afghanistan's Bagram Air Base. It's been at the centre of the war against the Taliban for 20 years. US President Joe Biden says the drawdown of troops is on schedule to be complete by September 11. We're on track exactly as to where we expect it to be. But we just, I wanted to make sure there was enough, quote, running room. Wouldn't be able to do it all to September. There'll still be some four forces left. A Boeing 737 cargo plane with two people on board has crashed off the coast of Hawaii. It experienced engine trouble before ditching into the ocean. The US Coast Guard managed to rescue both pilots. In entertainment news, producers of The Crown have revealed why the Netflix series won't go beyond season six. Fans want it to continue into the modern day. But it seems the show's creator, Peter Morgan, can't write about events that are too recent and needs time to pass to get proper perspective. To sport and a missed field goal on the siren by Parramatta handed the win to Penrith last night. The final score 13-12. Panthers forward Api Kurosawa says they worked hard for that win. Pretty good feeling, you know, we, we didn't play our best um, that first half and um, you know, we're missing, you know, one of our key players there, Nathan Cleary, but you know, for the boys to step up like that and you know, come out with this good game against a great team, um, you know, it's a great feeling. The Dragons defeated the Warriors 19-18. to In AFL, the Cats have come away with a 41-point win over the Bombers, but will be counting the cost of that victory. Jeremy Cameron booted three goals but came off with a hamstring injury. Coach Chris Scott admits he was a bit iffy before the game. There are really hard decisions that need to be made by the medical staff. Like, he, ha- he had a bit of tightness there pre-game, but they were confident that the right decision was made for him to play. Tom Hawkins booted six goals for the Cats in their victory last night. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.